Hello, I'm Father Nick Winker, the pastor of St. Anne Catholic Church in Normandy, Missouri. It has been now one week since we threw open the doors by returning to public Mass, although I would say it's been more of a slow start on purpose, because we want to do this safely, carefully, in this time of epidemic. Things are not really back to normal, but it is important for the Archbishop and for myself and for all your priests that we have the opportunity to celebrate the sacraments as best and as safely as we can at this time. The Archbishop has consulted widely with medical experts and local leadership, including gaining approval for the plan from the head of the COVID-19 task force here in St. Louis. These rules and regulations will help keep us all safe as we seek to grow together in Christ. In order to maintain six feet of social distance between any people who are not of the same household, all aisles and doors will be one way only. The entrances will be at Natural Bridge, as well as one exit at Natural Bridge as well, and the two side doors will be exits. Masks are required outside of the pew, and in particular in line for communion. No one with a fever or contact with a person diagnosed in the last 14 days is allowed to attend Mass. Attendees are asked to take their temperature at home before determining whether they should attend Mass. And those who are at risk because of an underlying health condition or who are over 60 years old are strongly encouraged for their own health to avoid the risk of attending public celebrations of the Mass. Communion is to be received only in the hand and there is not to be any physical greetings at all. The church at St. Anne has an occupancy limit of 150 people, or 25% of our fire code occupancy limit. We will continue live streaming the 11 o'clock Mass. At any of the Masses, those that would like to be close to the Eucharist, but not physically in the church, are welcome to join us in the parking lot. The south parking lot behind the rectory has a FM radio transmitter that will transmit the audio from the church on FM channel 97.5 to your car radio. After Mass, those who have attended in the parking lot will be welcome to come forward in their car to the front of church to receive Holy Communion. During Mass, for the reception of Holy Communion, Communicants will come up single file, distance themselves six feet apart. There are markers on the floor of the aisle to indicate the six foot distance. Right before coming up to receive communion, the communicant will lower the mask to below their chin and then extend their hands to receive Holy Communion, receive communion, step to the side, place their mask back on their face, and return to their pew while still maintaining six feet distance from those around them. Ushers will help direct traffic to ensure that everybody keeps the appropriate distance. During the course of Mass, no collection will be taken up. Rather, there will be an opportunity to place your offering in a safe container. You are also encouraged to consider giving online. Hand sanitizer and disinfectant wipes will be located at all the entrances and exits to the church. Attendees are encouraged to sanitize their hands and wipe down the area in which they are going to sit. The doors will be propped open before and after Mass to allow people to exit and enter without touching the high-touch surfaces on the door. Before and after each Mass, all surfaces that are likely to be touched will be sanitized. In order to aid cleaning and sanitizing, all the missiles have been removed from the pews. The Choose Christ Missile, which has the readings for all the Sundays of the year, have been bagged up and are available for you to take home and bring with you each week to Mass. I know there's a lot to keep track of in coming to Mass safely at this time. And I thank you in advance for your cooperation. It is important not only for our safety, but so that those who might feel at higher risk can feel comfortable. No, whether I see you here again in church soon or in a little while, that I miss you and I'm praying for you 
and for our whole St. Anne Parish community. God bless.